What's going on, everyone? Hopefully, everyone's keeping safe. And if you had to take a COVID test in the last 24 hours, hopefully you tested negative and you are healthy. The summer travel season is coming upon us. And with that comes the first big holiday of the summer travel season. There's three of them. Memorial Day weekend, 4th of July, and Labor Day weekend. This Memorial Day weekend is expected to be one of the busiest Memorial Day weekends for travel since two, the year 2000. 42.3 million Americans are expected to travel for Memorial Day weekend, according to AAA. Well, I want you to do it safely, and you should know your risk before you decide to travel somewhere. Some people, you probably already have your reservations made well in advance. Well, it's good to know what the risk is in the area that you're going to travel to and in this video we're going to go over that and we're going to go over some safety tips to help keep you safe this memorial day weekend so chances are you might be traveling by car some people are going to be flying but the majority of people are going to travel by car and 42.3 million americans are expected to travel more than 50 miles away from their home. That's a 7% increase from last year. Tying this in with a uh, new variant circulation, couple new variant circulation, uh, XBB 2.3, XBB 116, and it's a recipe for potential COVID spread. So I think it's good that I show you the areas right now that are at highest risk of COVID or influenza like illness. If you're traveling to these areas, you want to pay especially close attention. And let's just take a look at good old Google Maps here. You can see this is the nation's highway system. And the nation's highway system will be filling up with vehicles starting as early as Thursday evening in the Thursday evening rush hour. And all day Friday through the weekend, people will be traveling to various different places. But beyond this, the summer travel season does get under way and with that draws the risk of covid being spread about in more places because more people are on to go you have a lot of tourist areas such as up in maine along the coast uh you come up here to rhode island cape cod providence town who remembers back in 2021 the breakthrough outbreak when the vaccine first came out providence town and that spread to multiple places the upstate massachusetts vermont maine there were cases being contact trace from that something we don't do anymore to many different places so let's take a look at hub bub world and take a look at the covid forecast here's the national covid forecast and you can see here in the united states there are some hot spots that you definitely want to pay attention to such as new jersey new york the i-95 corridor from dc right on up to just south of new hampshire if your holiday travel is going to take you into this area for the Memorial Day weekend, you want to pay close attention. You definitely want to have masks with you. You definitely want to have on hand some of these rapid at-home self-test. And if you're going to be stopping at a rest area along this area, the I-95 corridor gets super, super busy on holiday weekends. Um, know your risk when you're going into a rest area and you can actually help me out and everyone else out if you happen to have a co2 meter such as this this is an aeronet 4 i need you to do me a favor i started something new on the website come down here to the website if you don't have an account sign up and i started a new section i haven't made any posts in it yet but it's called air quality reviews i want you to leave reviews in this section it could be a rest area. It could be a fast food plate. It could be a grocery store. It could be anywhere. Leave reviews and we'll help one another out. Leave the name of the business. Leave the location of it. Especially if it's a rest area. I think that's going to help a lot if people are traveling. Let us know what air quality readings you are getting in these places. I think it's great if we help one another out and, hey, we'll know where it's safe to go. All right, moving back to the forecast. Miami area, that's another area that's uh, starting to get to moderate levels of uh, COVID. And then you come out here to California, the Bay Area. If your travels take you to the Bay Area this weekend, it's moderate to high spread being forecast in that area. Chicago, are you headed to Chicago for the weekend? 
Uh, Chicago is getting relatively concerning. We can actually zoom into Illinois. And look at this. Metro Chicago, Cook County. It's expected to be high transmission. Let's go back to the Northeast, shall we? We'll take a look at Massachusetts. Maybe your travel is going to take you to Cape Cod. Well, let's see what's going on there. Boston itself, it's at the highest level here. Low spread right now forecast in Cape Cod, but I stress people are coming from the cities to go to these places, and that could allow for there to be spread. So let's just say you're not going for Memorial Day weekend, and you wouldn't beat the crowds. You're going to go the weekend after Memorial Day weekend. A lot of people tend to do that. You know, if you can, like the retired folks that, you know, maybe have more time on their hands, do that. I stress caution. The weekend after Memorial Day weekend is actually probably going to be slightly more risky because you have all these people that came in and now people who live in this area, people who work in the tourist towns. Uh, the problem there is they may have been infected from the holiday weekend and maybe they're just starting to show symptoms the weekend afterwards and maybe they haven't gotten tested. We know a lot of people do not get tested. If you saw my Walgreens update yesterday, testing is significantly down in this country. So you want to pay close attention. Maybe a lot of people are coming out of the New York City area and going down to the New Jersey Shore. That's a problem within itself. Take a look at New York City here and Long Island. There is a high spread of COVID. I am extremely concerned about Long Island. A lot of people will travel out to the east side of Long Island and it's already moderate to high levels there. Add in the fact that influenza-like illness, look at this, it is off the charts in New York City. You can see here, that's going to get spread to Long Island and plus uh, New Jersey. The Jersey Shore gets millions of people. And not to mention they get millions of people. The Garden State Parkway will be flooded with southbound traffic on Friday, all day long. Uh, past years, pre-coronavirus, there would be as much as a 40-mile delay on the southbound Garden State Parkway. Uh, start thinking about the rest areas there. If you don't have to stop at a rest area on the parkway, generally from North Jersey on down to about the Toms River area, then again, down around Cape May, Lank City area, don't do it. That's risky. And if you have to, mask up and... If you can, get us an air quality reading. I would love to know what the air quality readings are. Uh, let's switch to a different part of the country. Let's switch gears and go out to the West Coast. And we will check California. And take a look at California. If your travels happen to bring you out here uh, this weekend, look what's going on here. Influenza-like illness. It's really high in the Los Angeles and Bay Area. Pay close attention to that. How about COVID-19? COVID-19, not as high, but it's a concern. Remember, we're seeing a new variant. So I think this forecast, as we head into next week, after Memorial Day weekend, I think it's going to up the ante even higher. Let's take a look at wastewater. If you're traveling somewhere, anywhere this summer, it doesn't have to be Memorial Day weekend, check the wastewater of the area that you're going to go to. Now, not all places have wastewater, like uh, the southern shore points of New Jersey. It's not enough wastewater sites there. South Carolina coast, not enough wastewater sites there. We're not getting updates with the Virginia coast. Or like Ocean City, Maryland. That's a huge tourism spot. We're not getting updates. But in places where we do get updates, for example, upstate New York, a lot of people will go up the thruway this summer to check out the Adirondacks or Lake George area or maybe Saratoga Springs in August to go see the horse racing. Check the wastewater. Let's just take a look here, Warren County, New York. It's currently flat right now. It may be starting to rise pretty soon. And a lot of these sites will see the rise start after the holiday. But if you're heading to an area and you see wastewater is high, maybe reconsider that. Maybe find somewhere else where wastewater is low. I get it's last minute, but any point this summer, always check your risk beforehand to make sure it's safe anywhere you're going to go. Let's take a look at Maine. This is a super big tourism state in the summertime. Right now, Portland, not doing all that bad in Portland, Maine. How about York County, Maine? Uh, Kenny Bunkport, that's not far from there. We don't actually have a wastewater site for Kenny Bunkport, but York, Maine, if you're going there this weekend, 
there's always the risk you could be infected with something. But right now, this is a sewer shed of 15,000 people. Mind you, when population of tourism come in, that number is actually likely higher because you have more people using the facilities. There's more wastewater traveling through the sewage system. But right now, it's low. You're fairly safe there for this weekend. However, if you're coming up uh, a couple weekends after this, uh, things may be rising because spread will be mixed around quite a bit from the travel of Memorial Day weekend. So just know your risk this summer. Check a wastewater site before you go somewhere. Maybe you're headed out to Utah at some point this summer. Well, Utah right now, wastewater is relatively low. And if you're going to be traveling, like I said, if you're going to stop at a rest area, look at the rest areas beforehand. Go to Google Maps. See which ones are less busy. I'll give you a good example. If you're traveling on 95 in Connecticut, the first rest area out of New York State is always very crowded. Go to the second one. Don't stop at the first one. Go to the second one. And if you see the parking lot's full, keep going. And if you see one, hey, look, here's a rest area. The parking lot's not that full. Stop at one that is less crowded. And that's just an example of one state. There's 50 states in this country. It can be said anywhere in the country. I know upstate Wisconsin, that may be another area where people go for uh, Memorial Day weekend. How about northern Michigan? I think that's a tourist area. We can actually take a look at the wastewater sites up there. And you can see here's one county, relatively low. Here's uh, Grand Traverse, 45,000 in this watershed. Look at that. It's actually dropping at this time. So I just thought I would do this video just to give you some um, tips for is having a safe summer. I'll be traveling twice this summer. I have a vacation planned in July, going up to see my relatives up in Maine. They have a summer place there should be relatively safe it's on a lake very easy social distancing i'm also going up to my upstate place in the middle of june don't worry folks you guys are coming along with me we probably won't do the pandemic update during that but uh some of the other things that we do weekly they'll be continuing and there are a few socially distant places that i'm going to share with you on the channel i'll be actually filming at one place in maine that has some spectacular views of Mount Washington and the best part is I'll do it on a weekday when there's hardly any hopefully hardly anyone at that spot so thank you everyone for watching this video I'm sure we'll have some more travel safety tips of course you know we'll be covering the post Memorial Day weekend surge and of course the concerning trends that's going on in New York City right now cases are starting to rise there more on that when we get to the pandemic update later on this afternoon all right Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button down below. If you liked this video, if it helped you at all, give it a thumbs up. And of course, the most important thing of all, stay safe, everyone. And thanks for watching.